Hey guys, Dr. Ben Galliard here, author of the book Rebuild Your Brain, Stop the Damage, Start the Repair, and I run the Functional Medicine Center. And just want to go over a great tool that I've been using since the beginning of the year. Uh, I've been monitoring heart rate off and on for years and years. Very, very important for obtaining optimal health. And uh, one of the things that, that we've done for years is use a strap heart rate monitor. So Polar is probably the kind of godfather of heart rate monitor. Monitors, P O L A R, and it's a strap that goes around the chest. You had to wet it, you had to make sure it's in the right spot, but it could be kind of irritating, chafing for women, a sports bra, a lot of different things were, were irritating under there. Then they came out with the Fitbits, the eye watches, all of those things to monitor your heart rate on your wrist, which is great if you're going for a walk a hike, something like that. But if you're cycling, if you're doing dynamic movements like push-ups, presses, bench press, anything along those lines, a lot of people in the CrossFit world, uh, it is going to be very challenging to get a consistent, accurate heart rate reading with one of the wrist-based monitors. Most of the time it just does not do a good job. I tried many different ones, even on, on, the, uh, on running for me, it was not consistent, not accurate. So I looked into seeing what else is out there and what I ended up getting at the first part of this year was a Polar OH1 and this is this is what it looks like as opposed to the giant strap that goes around your chest this one is small and it can go in two places one it can go on the forearm which is where I've ended up wearing mine most of the time. So it's out of the way, you can do cleans, you can do any type of press, you can do uh, push-ups, burpees, any movement at all, and it's totally fine. Uh, the other is it can go all the way up on the, on the bicep, and some people like it up there as well. It's compact, easy to turn on and off. You hold down the button there, it flashes, and now it's on and it's ready to go. On the phone, there's a simple app, uh, Polar app, and it's going to recognize this and you can record all different types of activity, whether you're going for a run, bike ride, anything like that. It will track your distance and everything uh, that you do through that activity. Or if you're just doing a stationary thing, a strength training, some type of a CrossFit workout, it will be, uh, it, you can set it for that and it'll just train for there. Um, these, I've gotten probably uh, five to 10 training sessions out of one charge and super easy to charge. It's got a little, uh, this piece pops off and then it goes into a, a little adapter that charges into the USB. And uh, so very easy, easy to recharge and is very, very accurate. This has been a great tool for me to be able to monitor my heart rate. I found that if I was getting my heart rate up too high, the rest of the day I'd be a little bit more tired, I'd be yawning, I'd be fading in the afternoon, and that continuous feedback has been very, very helpful. Uh, the, the range that I like to have people stay in for their heart rate if they're going to do some type of a sustained cardiovascular, like a bike ride, a run, anything like that, is 180 minus your age. And uh, this is based off of some different different doctors out there. Dr. Phil Maffetone is one of the main ones that is, is into the heart rate monitoring in this specific range. So 180 minus your age, let's say you're 40 years old, that would be 140. And so if you're physically fit, if you're active, if you're doing a lot of things, you can add five. If you're uh, in, in decent shape, you keep it there. If you're starting from disease or not in very good shape or, or very much overweight, you're actually gonna sub subtract five. So the range, let's say you're gonna go for an exercise uh, time of 30 minutes, you would want to try to maintain, let's say you're just starting out and you're somewhat active, working out a couple times a week, uh, you would want to be between 130 to 140 beats per minute. And that's going to 
keep you in that good range where you're able to uh, stay in that consistent aerobic zone where you're not going to push too much. If you feel tired after an exercise routine, you pushed your heart rate too long and too hard and that's usually what we see as the issue in there. So uh, 180 minus your age is a great number to be at. Try to maintain throughout that cardiovascular exercise in that zone. If uh, you're 40 and you're going over 140 and you're trying to sustain that for 30, 40 minutes, you are stressing your adrenals. You're causing more uh, damage to the body than it's, than it's benefit and you're not going to be building up in that aerobic zone. So again, the polar heart rate monitor, uh, this is the OH1 forearm or bicep uh, monitoring. Very, very easy, handy. You don't have to wet it, anything at all, just slide it on. And it's uh, a super great way to be able to monitor and make sure that your heart rate is staying in that zone that you want. Uh, if all you're doing is going for a walk, things like that, the uh, risk-based ones are going to work as well. But if you're doing those type of activities, 180 minus your age is the great place to be. If you have any questions at all, comments, uh, go ahead and put them below in the comment section. Anybody that you know that's getting into exercise, thinking about doing more dynamic movements, like or share this with them. It is uh, by far the best heart rate monitor that I have found, most accurate, easiest to use. Uh, let them know about this one. It's a, it's a great tool. Have a great day, guys.